Good evening, kids. Good evening, parents, uh, school administrations, teachers. Uh, this is our uh, second lesson on how to checkmate with a uh, bishop and the knight. And uh, this one is really important because here you learn how to bring the king from a wrong corner into the right corner. So right now the king is uh, in the uh, uh, um, dark color corner. And that's not good for white because with a with a bishop that is on white color, we cannot checkmate here. So what we have to do is we really have to bring the king all the way to this corner or this corner here. Right? That's what we need to do. And in this uh, process of bringing the king to the right corner, we have to be careful not to allow the black king to end up in this corner because if that happens then we are not going to have enough time to checkmate the king uh, on the chess tournaments you need to checkmate in 50 moves and if you don't do that then the game is a draw so you really don't have uh, much time for an error uh, if you make error a couple of times you you the game is going to end up in a draw so let's see what what is the, the procedure here? How do we bring the king to the right corner? Uh, first, we are going to play a, a check. Now, pay attention. This is a perfect setup. This is a setup you need to remember. Uh, the king on f6, knight to e5, and a bishop on this diagonal. It can be anywhere on this diagonal. But um, you need to have a knight that can jump to f7. That knight can be on d6, it can be on g5. It, it's okay, right? But very important for, for this uh, position is that the king is on f6, right? So, again, we need to follow our, uh, our first lesson advice. The knight controls dark colors and the bishop will control white colors. So let's play check. Now, king has to go to g8, right? And what we're gonna do right now is we, we just waste a move, right? We'll play bishop to d3 or any move like bishop g6. King has to go to f8, and now we have to stop the king so he, that he cannot, sorry, he cannot go to g8. So we play bishop h7, right? And, uh, and then uh, king goes to, to e8, right? So look, this king wants to run away to d7. Uh, now, if he play king e6, then the king would come back to f8 and g7 and, and h8. So that's not going to work. So in this case, we will have to uh, play this move knight e5. And yes, I know now knight is controlling uh, a white color. But sometimes we have to do that, right? So what is the option for black? Black can go to d8. Of course, this, this option is more dangerous, right, for us because he can run away this way and, and he will try to end up in, in this corner, right? If he goes back to f8, then it's a little bit easier uh, to push him to the other side. I'll show you both, both of them. Let's first try king d8. Now, it's clear, this is what the black king wants to do, right? So we will have to block him. And you see that the white king is too far away. So we're not going to be able to do it just with the king. We need the help of the knight. So we play this one, king e6, right? And again, what is the black option? If he goes to e8, that would be easier for us because then we would just play knight e7 and not to allow him to go to f8. Uh, we can check that out later as well king goes to c7 and he wants to go to b6 right and you see our king is too far away so now this is a crucial moment and a very important move that you have to play with the uh, uh, white side um, see i could stop the king to go to b6 by playing knight c4 but then then the black king can go to c6 and c5 and escape. So the correct move here is knight e7. And this is the one that you really have to remember because now knight 
controls both b6 and c5. So the king will try to run away, right, and go to b5. But then the bishop comes to d3 and controls this. And pay attention. This is this is what we need to learn. Like uh, the knight controls the, the dark colors and the bishop controls the white color. So the black king is trapped. And the black king is trapped in the right corner. So now, of course, uh, the, the game can still uh, slip away. We have to be very careful. We, we, we must play the right moves. So king goes to c7. And uh, uh, perhaps now he wants to go this way, to go back, right? Now look, we play bishop to b5. We don't allow him to go to back to c6. So look, this is controlled, right? And let's say he plays king d8, and he wants to go to e8 uh, to the other side. But now we're going to play knight to e5, right? So we don't allow him to go to the other side. King goes to b6. He still wants to play to, to b6, a5, and end up in this corner. We don't allow him. Now, this is another important setup. Try to remember this setup. And what I would suggest... When you practice this position, practice from this position. Set it up in, uh, in tools, in the board editor, just this position. And then play that for, for a couple of games. And, and once you learn this, then, then you can uh, go from the beginning position. Right? So now the black plays king d8. Right? The black wants to stay as long as it's possible um, in the center of the board or, you know, if he can go to the other side into the wrong corner, right? Into the dark color corner. And now we have this technique that's very important. When you push the bishop, when you put the bishop in between the kings, uh, that's a good strategy to push the, the black king in this case uh, to the corner. So look, we play bishop to d7. And you see now we are taking a space from the king. So when the king goes to c7, we play king e7. And this is something we need to remember because we'll need this position later on when when we when we set up the pieces uh, anywhere on the chessboard. Now king has to move, right, to b7, and we can bring our king to d6 or d8. We don't have to worry about this king anymore. This is this is a, a, a great setup that uh, uh, king is, is trapped, cannot escape. You see, because the knight controls. Uh, dark colors and bishop is controlling uh, the white color so the black king cannot escape right so we play king uh, to d8 or king to d6 is also fine let's say black uh, plays move like uh, king to b8 and now we can play bishop to c6 just because we want we want king to uh to uh to end up in the, in the, on, on the side and in the corner. So we bring the king and pay attention that pieces are working together. It's a teamwork, right? Without the king, we really cannot uh, checkmate, right? Now, king a6, and what we have to do right now, we have to make sure that this king ends up in the corner. So we are going to play bishop a4, right? Or any other move, right, on this diagonal. And king goes here, and now we're going to stop the king, so the king cannot go to a6. He has to move into the corner, and then we have this position that we had in the first uh, um, uh, video, right? When the king is in the, in the corner, we just play this strategy check, and we ended up in the same position that we had in the first uh, game that I explained you. Now, let's go back uh, and uh, let's go back all the way back and, and just see this one more time. First, remember the setup of your uh, pieces. That's the first time. Now, because this, you will need us, right? You will need, because if, if we put the pieces all over, right, the chessboard, that's what we want to accomplish because the Black King is going to run into the wrong corner. Right, so remember this strategy. Right now, let's let's see what happens if uh, if uh, Black plays something else. Right, we we go here to h7, we stop him. Right, um, and we play this move. 
But what happens if the black goes back? Right? Let's see this strategy now. Um, it's a little bit easier now and it's faster uh, to checkmate. We play check, king goes here, and then we play king to e6, and black cannot escape. Right? Now he goes to d8 and wants to play to king c7, but now we're going to stop him with a king. So, so our king is actually now in a better position and uh, we can stop the black king. If he runs away this way, uh, the check is going to save us, right? Because there's no way that he can run away. And now we need to do adjustments. Look, we'll, uh, we'll play some adjustments like, like we, need, we need a knight and we need to uh, try to get this black king into the corner. So let's say he plays here and look, uh, we can uh, we can uh, uh, now uh, play a move like um, like this, right? And if he comes back, we'll play knight b7, check. And see, slowly he is going into the corner and we play king to c6, king to b8 and king to b6. Now, remember I told you that white king has to be on b6 on, on c7. Those are good positions for the king. So, again, if he comes back here, you know, he's not going to be able to run away. It's check. And see, there's no way he can run away. And now we just have to, again, adjust uh, the, the, the king. Maybe knight c5 or knight a5. You know, we'll, uh, we'll figure out some kind of checkmate there. Right? Look, we can uh, just lose lose the move. Don't 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 allow him to run away here. If you play knight is six, king b eight. I mean, knight is six would be a stalemate. But if you play bishop d five, king b and knight is six, he runs away. So we need to waste the move and uh, checkmate. Right here, it's already easy. Right uh, when we get him into the corner. Now uh, let's see. Um, Let's go one more time back. Uh, so we have knight to seven. We are chasing him all to the other side. And this is an important move, bishop eight seven. You have to remember that move. So that's what we have. That means the king could go to d8 or a5, or he can go back to f8, right? So um, it, it, is, it is harder when the king goes to d8 and c7. But if he goes to f8, you just have to remember the strategy with the knight e7, right, and, and then the king. So the, the knight is helping us uh, to put him on the other side. Um, and again, the most important is this move, knight e7. You have to remember knight e7 um, and, and this position. This is a crucial key position to remember, so this king cannot uh, escape. Can he do something else here? Let's say this move and we play knight e5. There's, there's not much that the black can do. Like if you succeed to get uh, here, I, I'm sure you'll be able to checkmate, right? The most difficult is when the black runs away. If he gets to, to this corner, then, then you have to start from the beginning, right? That's, that's what it is. Okay, let's see how do we practice this. You can uh, uh, go to this uh, study. It's in advanced level, lesson nine, bishop and uh, knight checkmate. You can do it, uh, you can practice this way. Um, you can also go to tools and you can set up any position, right? Um, but I would suggest you, you uh, if you want, you can set up from the beginning and, and just try to memorize all those uh, moves. Um, and, and you'll see it's going to get better and better. Um, it is really important to, to, to practice this many times you know, so that you get a feeling for a, for a knight and, and the bishop uh, uh, and you can set up the fortress so the, the king cannot run away. Okay, kids, um, uh, I hope you enjoy this lesson and I'm going to see you in, uh, in our uh, next lesson with the bishop and the knight. Bye-bye, see you, good night.